Hey, my name is Gene. I'm a senior manager in Insights, and I'm here to help you crack the infamous, what is your biggest weakness question. So when I think about this question, a few things come to mind. Number one, to be successful here is you wanna be humble. You wanna communicate an authentic story that shows that you're self-aware. It's okay that you don't come off as perfect. That's authentic and that's really important for someone to trust you in the role that they're hiring for. Number two, don't select the weakness that disqualifies you from the job. Choose something that is not necessarily related to it. So for example, if you're applying for a project manager role, choose something that is more related to creativity. Like choose a weakness that doesn't disqualify you from the job description or the things that would make someone successful in the role. And then number three, have a fix-it strategy. It's okay to have a plan. Plans are important. So just in case you're the type of person that struggles with remembering product details, and you happen to also be that person that tracks them in their phone and or on a side notebook, that's okay, share that with me. That shows that you've got commitment to solving that problem and addressing it. So as a quick recap, three things that you can do. Number one, be humble and authentic. Number two, select the weakness that doesn't disqualify you from the role. And number three, have a plan. It's okay to have a fix-it strategy.